Welcome to Easy Freezer Meals. My name is Eric, and in today's episode, we're going to be making a broccoli chicken cheesy casserole that is extremely easy and super delicious. It's Chicken Divan. Let's get started. The first thing we want to do when making Chicken Divan is prepare the chicken. And so I'm going to share with you some tips so that you can have tender, juicy chicken every single time, whether you're eating it fresh or having it as a freezer meal. Tip number one, prepare a brine. When you put your chicken inside of a brine solution through the process of osmosis, your chicken breasts are gonna be absorbing additional liquid, leaving you a chicken breast that is very juicy and delicately seasoned from the inside out. We're gonna be using a quick brine for this recipe, so for your skinless, boneless chicken, 30 minutes is all you need. To prepare your brine, dissolve some sugar and salt in a small pot of water, add your seasonings, whichever aromatics you wanna use, then bring it to a simmer. Once it's done, take it off the heat and cool it down. We want the temperature of our brine to be at about room temperature. So after you add fresh water with ice to your brine, go ahead and take the temperature of it. And when it's in the high 60s, mid 70s, you're good to go ahead and put it in a non-reactive container and fill it up with chicken. After 30 minutes, take your chicken out, pat it dry, and you're good to go. And that brings us to tip number two. Whether you do a brine or not, you don't wanna cook chicken directly out of the fridge, especially if the pieces are thick. Let your chicken rest for about 20 to 30 minutes so we can get the temperature of the chicken a little closer to room temperature before we bake it. Tip number three, the temperature at which you bake your chicken. When you bake your chicken at anywhere between 400 to 450 degrees, it's gonna produce the juiciest chicken you've ever had. And this brings us to tip number four, the internal temperature of the chicken. This step is incredibly important because you can go from juicy and tender to dry and tough. And what we're looking for is 155 degrees Fahrenheit. By pulling your chicken out at 155 degrees and letting it rest for five minutes, the chicken temperature is gonna rise by about five degrees and those juices are gonna stay locked in, leaving you with an incredibly juicy and tender chicken breast. After you've let it rest, dice that into small cubes, set that to the side because now it's time to prepare our broccoli. To process the broccoli, cut the florets off of the broccoli head and chop those in half. We want everything roughly about the same size. We wanna cook the broccoli in such a way that when we reheat it as a freezer meal, it still has a nice bite. So bring a pot of lightly salted water to a boil and add your broccoli. Set a timer for three minutes. And as soon as three minutes is up, take that broccoli out of the water and either put it in an ice bath or run it under some cold water to stop the cooking process. Most recipes are gonna call for condensed cream of mushroom soup for chicken divan, and that's what I'm gonna put in the recipe below. But I happen to have my very own cream of mushroom soup on hand. So all I'm gonna do is turn it into a condensed soup by adding two cups of chicken stock and two cups of rice flour to my soup mixture. This is gonna thicken it up just enough without taking away any of the flavor. If you choose to use condensed cream of mushroom soup in a can, be sure to add extra mushrooms. They never have enough mushrooms for me. So to turn our regular mushroom soup into a condensed soup, we've added the rice flour and we're gonna heat it up on a medium heat until it starts to thicken. And only 10 minutes later, look at what it turned into. A wonderful and thick condensed cream of mushroom soup. This recipe is gonna call for a little bit of wine, and so in a pot, take the wine that it calls for and boil it for a few minutes just to cook the alcohol out of it and set it to the side. Now it's time to make our delicious casserole sauce. So you're gonna start by mixing sour cream and cream cheese. Make sure your cream cheese is at room temperature, especially if you're gonna be doing this by hand. As you begin to mix that up, slowly begin to incorporate the wine that you just cooked the alcohol out of, and you're gonna notice that it's gonna look a little runny, but that's okay because now we're gonna add our condensed cream of mushroom soup, and that's gonna help thicken it up. If you're adding extra mushrooms that's been sauteed, this is the perfect time to add it. Go ahead and add that into your sauce. Next, we're gonna add our cheddar cheese, and then we're gonna add our curry, and then our lemon juice, and just making sure that this is well mixed and well incorporated. And once you have that completely mixed, this is what your sauce is gonna look like. It's gonna smell wonderful. You shouldn't need any salt, but at this point, taste it for any salt or pepper adjustments you might make. 
It's now time to assemble this dish. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put chicken in our freezer saver bags. And I'm also gonna put broccoli. So I'm gonna have chicken and broccoli in a bag, both roughly about the same amount. And I'm gonna go ahead and add roughly about a cup of sauce per bag. Now I did this two ways. In the event that you don't happen to have a vacuum sealer, I also did it in a freezer friendly tin. So in a freezer friendly tin, add your chicken and then add your broccoli. And depending on the size of your tin, this could be a family size or a single serving. This particular serving portion is for two adults. We're gonna go ahead and now top it with that wonderful creamy divan sauce. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spread it around, spread the love, top it with cheddar cheese and cover it. And that's it. Now my chicken divan is completely finished, ready for the freezer. And you know what time it is? It is time to see what one of these looks like when we heat it up from frozen. So here we go. Chicken divan, this is what the bag looked like. Both of these have been frozen for about three or four weeks. This is what the tin looked like. And I can't wait to see the difference. We don't normally do this. Normally we do one or the other, but I really wanted to see if there was a quality difference between the cooking styles. For the bag, we put it in simmering water. We let it simmer for about 20 minutes. We agitated the bag really good, and this is what it's gonna look like, nice and creamy. I'm gonna put some fresh grated cheddar cheese right on top, and now for the one that was in the oven, we baked it for about 30, 45 minutes at 350 degrees, and it's time to taste. I can tell you right now, both of these look and smell amazing. I can't wait to get a little taste of that broccoli and that chicken. Ooh. That is nice. The broccoli has such a nice texture, a nice crunch to it actually when you bite. And the chicken is incredibly moist, incredibly tender. What a great freezer meal to have on hand all the time. And that is how you make chicken divan as an easy freezer meal. I'd like to welcome those of you who are new to our channel. Don't forget to sub and click that notification bell. And if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. But if you really liked it, share the love of freezer meal cooking by posting this on your social media. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next episode.